So then, boys and girls, hope you find you all well. So, it's been a bit quiet of late. Uh, not because I haven't been buying guns, obviously, just busy with other things. But anyway, here I am, and you know what I'm here for. So, let's show you something special today, seeing as it's been a while. <coughs> this is a KWC 1911 Nastov model, or Nastov. Don't know how you pronounce it, Nastov, Nastov. Um, uh, Nastov uh, was a, a guy, his first name was Steve, Steve Nastov, uh, and he made custom 1911s back night, 90s, 80s sort of time. Um, maybe early, I don't know, I haven't really looked that deep into it. Uh, he doesn't do them anymore. Uh, it was, these are kind of like the, I guess, the, the old school cool of 1911s. Uh, there are still guys out there that do it, but yeah, a bit different now. Anyways, um, so yeah, what can we say about this? Uh, nice old box that it comes in. Uh, it has got all the destructions. Um, yeah, the instructions there, uh, it shows the um, Springfield Centimeter Master as well there. Uh, that is something that will be coming as well shortly to me. Uh, got a basic breakdown of how it works. Um, it's all in French because I think it's uh, an early um, sort of cyber gun. Before they were Cybergun leaflet. Um, all the breakdown there, parts numbers. Uh, not that I ever think you could order the parts separately. A bit of, bit of merch here from the dis distributor, all in French once again. Uh, I did put up a video of this on my uh, Instagram and put that onto my Springsoft page as well. Uh, at some point I might take some better pictures of this because it's nice to see the old bits and bobs that they uh, they did. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the star of the show, shall we? Did I tell you there's targets in there as well? Do you want to see them? Nah, I'm good. Um, so yeah, KWC Nastov 1911. So, in many ways, this is much like any of the uh, what do you call it, the uh, KWC 1911s. But it had a little bit of a surprise for me. This gun, uh, as from looking at it from an outside perspective, uh, it's all as things should be until you take out the mag and uh, what you'll find it's a lipped type mag rather than being uh, an open top feed like the, the other ones that I'm used to. I have a, a Umarex one, well KWC rebranded by Umarex uh, which is sort of a, an untraded version of the Centimeter Master and I also have an original, uh, the match, 911 match. So, and they all have top feed, uh, top open feed magazines. This is a lipped magazine, as said, it takes 12 PBs in there. Um, the open feed magazines are much weightier. Uh, not that this is poorly constructed magazine, it's, it does what it's meant to do and it's got a nice sort of, uh, pressed steel cover going over the top, but the main bulk of the mag, unlike the top feed magazines, uh, is plastic. So it gives a little bit less weight to the gun. Uh, yep, yeah, 12 BBs, you just pour them in the side there, follower locks down, uh, and you do have to manually release the follower. So, being a lipped magazine and uh, KWC, um, with the KWCs, they have a long cylinder in these things. So 
the cylinder starts about there. So when you cock it back, and as with other KWCs, it does uh, lock back. Notice that the actual end of the cylinder is there. Now your feed is all the way back here. So how do you get from your feed to the chamber when you've got this sort of difference between the uh, where it's feeding from and the piston? And what they did was actually have a two-stage uh, feed ramp. So on the first cock, let's say, I'll just hold down the uh, slide stop for this. So you, when you put in a fresh mag, you cock it and then cock it again. And that means you have one in the chamber and then one sat back in this secondary stage or previous stage, should I say. Not secondary, the chamber would be the secondary stage, I suppose. Anyways, <coughs> uh, um, so it shoots. Um, when you get to the end of the mag, it will lock back at the point of which it has left one in that first stage there before the chamber. So the idea is if you empty your magazine, you have one in the ready to go into the chamber in the gun and then you slap the new magazine in and release the slide. Uh, you'll notice that when I'm releasing the slide I am releasing it and letting it go gently because for some reason this gun if you just let it go it fires the gun as well. Um, so it shouldn't do it too much damage hopefully which would um, but for a little while it was going forward well it started off doing as it's doing now and then for a little while it would uh, it was going forward without setting the piston off I don't know why it's doing it I uh, can't figure that out I should really take a closer look can not I um, but yeah it's doing that but by the by it seems to be working okay and uh, hasn't broken yet touch wood um, yeah so Nastov. Uh, it has uh, a kind of an electro penciled, um, well, made to look electro penciled, uh, Nastov's 45 shop written on the side here, as well as all the Springfield Armory markings and the, and the cross cannons. Uh, it also has uh, an electro pencil sort of style, little scrolled SN, um, Steve Nastov, I guess. Uh, and on this side you have uh, model 1911 A1 Cal 45. Uh, rear sight, uh, on these guns usually there's nothing on the rear sights, but on this one it has uh, Wichita, which is a company, a real sight company. Um, uh, so yeah, it's nice to have that little extra mark in there. Um, one thing that throws this off is it has a Barstow 10mm on the chamber, which it should be a 45 one. My uh, match, that has the 45 markings on. What The one that should have the 10mm is actually the, obviously a centimetre master there, but they've obviously just whacked whatever was uh, in the factory in this one. Um, <coughs> weight wise it's, it's a nice hefty uh, chunk. It's a mainly plastic gun. It has a lot of metal parts i.e. you know all your controls and everything uh, but it's not as weighty as like, like I said the with the met, full metal magazines of the the open feed magazines and I think uh, yeah some there are I th certainly more hefty plastic pieces inside, maybe some more metal content. In th yeah, there are. Like the, I think it's the, the uh, in the lower portion where all the the trigger group and the the slide rails and things like that. There's, there's more metal content in the open top feeding s system of these KWC guns rather than the lip fed si system, which is a new one on me. Um, Another little quirk of this gun, it actually has a magazine safety. So if you drop the magazine out, the trigger will not activate. Um, but yeah, uh, 
all in all, uh, a very cool old gun. Um, as uh, standard, when I got this gun out of the box, uh, being an early gun, it was a non-hot variant. Uh, but as always, I like to play with things. Uh, I whipped the barrel out of this and it's got a very heavy, thick brass barrel. Uh, I looked at the diameter of it and I thought, that'd fit a standard glass playback pistol hop in there. So I've trimmed off the side lug of a, I think it's an old maple leaf that I had. Um, so this has got a maple leaf hop in it now. Um, it doesn't do wonders to it. It's a lot better than having no hop. It shoots around 30 meters, 30, 35 meters. Not that consistently. It sort of sometimes a little bit of over hop, sometimes a little bit under, but it's a hell of a lot better than having no hop. Uh, and that's on two eights as well. So yeah, pops a, a decent weight BB for a, a spring pistol. Um, you can adjust the uh, windage on this rear sight, which is common on all these uh, KW, KWC 99s and models. But yeah, it's 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 a cool piece. Um, KWC did var various uh, sort of aftermarket -y, uh Swish 1911 brands or um, custom makers guns. Uh, I've got, I have a, a Caspian that I managed to pick up of theirs, but it's a gas playback pistol. But they also run on a you know a, a, the same body essentially. It's just got a, a gas playback system within it rather than the spring system. So I could, if I got uh, the internals for it, I could turn it into a springer. But anyway, as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers guys. <laughs>